Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you a few easy ways to fix the Windows error message Windows found drivers for your device but encountered an error. So let's just jump right in. The first solution that you should always take in consideration, as simple as it may be, is to restart your PC. To do this press the Windows button, then select the power icon and then click on the restart option. Even though this sounds super simple, restarting your PC can solve a lot of issues, so make sure to try this first. Moving on, another useful solution is to use the Windows Troubleshooter. To do this press the Windows button, then select the settings icon, afterwards make sure to click on system on the left pane and then on the right side scroll down until you find the troubleshoot category and click on it. Now in here click on other troubleshooters and afterwards choose the troubleshooter that corresponds to your device. If it's your camera that has problems or your keyboard or any other option in here, make sure to click on the run button next to the problematic device. Afterwards, if the problem was solved, you can close this windows, restart your computer and then check if everything is working properly. Moving on, another useful solution is to perform an SFC scan. Now to do this simply press the windows button then type in cmd and then run command prompt as an administrator. In here in the command prompt window make sure to type in the following command. Now simply press on enter and wait a bit of time because the scan will take some time. Then afterwards you can close this window, restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Next in line, another useful solution is to update the device drivers. Now to do this, right click the windows button, then select device manager from the list of options and afterwards in the device manager window, make sure to expand the section that contains the problematic device, then right click on it and select the update driver option. Now in here just click on search automatically for drivers and then wait until the best drivers will be found on your PC. And you can just close this window, restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Additionally, you can also uninstall the device. To do this, right click the windows button and select the uninstall device option. Now tick the box next to attempt to remove the driver for this device then confirm once again by clicking on the uninstall button. Now once the device will be uninstalled, you can close this window, restart your computer and you'll see that as soon as you will restart your computer, the aforementioned device will be automatically reinstalled on your PC. Then you can check if the problem still persists. And lastly, another useful solution is to change the permission for trusted installer. Now to do this, you have to open up your PC folder, then go to C, which is the default Windows drive, find the Windows folder, double click on it, then again scroll down until you find System32 and right click on it and select the Properties option. Now in here in the System32 Properties window, make sure to head over to the Security tab, and afterwards scroll way down until you find the trusted installer username and click on the edit button. Once again scroll down until you find trusted installer and in here make sure to tick the box next to full control. Lastly just click on apply and ok to save the changes and afterwards restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Another great method is to use DriverFix which is a free updater application for Windows. So basically DriverFix scans your whole system and then searches the web for the most recent drivers. And from there on you can choose to update the drivers you need manually or all at once if you upgrade to the Pro version. So make sure to check it out and get it for free by accessing the link in the description below. And that's it, super simple, isn't it? Of course, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more quality content. Thank you.